Infrastructure Development Finance Company is a finance company based in India. It provides finance and advisory services for infrastructure projects as well as asset management and investment banking. Company history IDFC was incorporated on 30 January 1997 with its registered office in Chennai and started operations on 9 June 1997. In 1998 the company registered with the Reserve Bank of India as a non-banking financial company and in 1999 it formally became a public financial institution. IDFC registered with the Securities and Exchange Board of India as a merchant banker and as an underwriter in 2000 and in 2001 as a debenture trustee. The company also set up Infrastructure Development Corporation Karnataka Limited IDECK pursuant to a shareholders agreement between IDECK and the state of Karnataka, HDFC and IDFC. In 2002, the company incorporated IDFC Asset Management Company Limited as a subsidiary company and Uttaranchal Infrastructure Development Company Limited, a joint venture with the government of Uttarakhand. In 2003 it became an investor in and sponsor of the India Development Fund. In August 2005 the company's equity shares were listed at the National Stock Exchange of India and Bombay Stock Exchange after an initial public offering. In 2006 IDFC raised $450 million for their second infrastructure-focused private equity fund. In June 2006, the company agreed a Memorandum of Understanding with SBI Capital Markets for syndication of debt financing for infrastructure projects. In 2006–07, the company increased its stake in National Stock Exchange of India Limited from 2.2% to 8.2% and acquired an 8.71% stake in the Asset Reconstruction Company India Limited. The company along with Citigroup, India Infrastructure Finance Company Limited and the global private equity company Blackstone, launched a US$5 billion initiative for financing infrastructure projects in India. During the year, the company also set up IDFC Project Equity Company Limited to manage the proposed US$2 billion third party equity component of the India Infrastructure Initiative. The company acquired 33.33% stake in SSKI Securities Private Limited, which is a domestic midsize investment bank and an institutional brokerage and research platform, with membership of the BSE and the NSE. In May 2008, the company entered into asset management by acquiring the AMC business of Standard Chartered Bank in India, namely Standard Chartered Asset Management Company Private Limited and Standard Chartered Trustee Company Private Limited. The acquired companies was rebranded as IDFC Asset Management Company Private Limited and IDFC AMC Trustee Company Private Limited, respectively. In 2008–09, the company subscribed 100% of equity shares of IDFC Capital Singapore Private Limited, an emerging markets private equity fund of funds business. During the year, the company established IDFC Foundation to focus on capacity building, policy advisory and sustainability initiatives. In 2009–10, the company consolidated its position as a specialist infrastructure finance company and one of the largest financiers of infrastructure in the country. The company increased their equity stake from 80% to 100% in IDFC Securities Limited. Also, the company along with their wholly owned subsidiary subscribed 100% equity shares of IDFC Pension Fund Management Company Limited. IDFC Capital Limited subscribed 100% of equity shares of IDFC Fund of Funds Limited and IDFC General Partners Limited Company 
In January 2009, IDFC Projects Limited signed a Memorandum of Understanding with Gujarat State Energy Company Limited and Bharat Heavy Electricals Limited (BHEL) to establish a 1,600 megawatts thermal power plant at Sarkadi based on supercritical technology. During the year 2010-11, Jetpur Somnath Highway Limited, earlier known as IDFC Capital Company Limited and a direct subsidiary of IDFC, became a subsidiary of IDFC Projects Limited. A company under the name of Jetpur Somnath Tollways Limited was incorporated as a subsidiary of IDFC Projects Limited. IDFC projects, along with the other companies, further floated Diru Powajan Limited, which was converted from private limited company to a public limited company. IDFC Asset Management Company Limited further floated IDFC Pension Fund Management Limited, one of the pension fund managers appointed by the Pension Fund Regulatory and Development Authority (PFRDA) to manage retirement funds under the new pension scheme (NPS) open to individuals in the private sector, and IDFC Investment Advisors Limited. A company under the name of IDFC Investment Managers Mauritius Limited has been incorporated as a subsidiary of IDFC Asset Management Company Limited. During the year, IDFC Foundation, a non-profit organization, was incorporated as a wholly owned subsidiary company of IDFC. The shares of the three joint ventures Infrastructure Development Corporation Karnataka Limited, Uttarakhand Infrastructure Development Company Limited, and Delhi Integrated Multi-Modal Transit System Limited, which were initially held by IDFC, was transferred to IDFC Foundation. Similarly, the units of the trust, namely India Infrastructure Initiative Trust and India PPP Capacity Building Trust which were initially held by IDFC was also transferred to the IDFC Foundation. Further during the year, Uniquest Infra Ventures Private Limited was incorporated as a direct subsidiary of the company and IDFC Capital USA Inc. was also incorporated as a subsidiary company of IDFC Securities Limited. In November 2011, SNC Lavalin Group Inc. and the company announced a joint venture that began with an introduction by Export Development Canada. The new company, called Puramal Roads Infrastructure Limited, will work to develop a portfolio of road assets in India. April 2, 2014, RBI grants in principle approval to IDFC to set up banks. The in principle approval will be valid for 18 months. RBI gets green signal to issue bank licenses. June 24, 2015, RBI officially granted a banking license to IDFC. IDFC Bank started operating banking services on 1 October 2015.